Welcome to my series, Balloon Twisting for Beginners, where I teach you how to twist balloons like a pro. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks in Derbyshire in the UK. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a really cute and very quick balloon mouse. And I'm going to show you how to draw the face on a balloon. I'm using a 260 and I'm using my Qualitex hand pump. So make sure your hand pump is in the down position, properly down, and we only need to inflate using one stroke of the hand pump. So put your 260 onto the hand pump and then inflate with just one stroke and then quickly remove the balloon from the pump to avoid losing air through the pump and take it off. So, there you go, we've just got one, one puff of air and tie in the usual way. And if you want to refresh the tying technique, I go into a lot of detail on how to tie the balloon in a lesson one of this series. Okay, so we've got a very long tail. We start at the knotted end and just twist a very small bubble of couple of fingers, okay? And then we want to make an ear. So I'm going to make a loop. Some people call these ear twists or loop twists, okay? So I've got a loop of about three fingers. I'm holding my thumb here to um, just keep that bubble in place. And then I'm going to twist this loop here, okay? So we've got the little face, nose, little face, and first ear. And I want to make another loop to match this one, okay? So measure the loop as best you can against this one. And then just about this point, twist another loop, okay? So those are very close in size. It's difficult to get things the exact size but you can see we've got a little mouse with two ears and a little body and a very long tail. I'm using a sharpie fine point and I always start on the left because if we start on the left and work to the right we're not going to smudge the ink on the left hand side so just a little eye and another one on this side and then a little smile. So there you've got your little mouse. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos in my Balloon Twisting for Beginners series. And I'll see you again in the next lesson.